Hello, everyone. This is Deborah Rue, and this is Human Potential at Work. So welcome to the show. I believe my guest today is my youngest guest so far. Um, his name is Brandon Farbestein, and if I said that incorrect, Brandon, you'll have to correct me. Um, he is 19 years old, and I had the pleasure to hear Brandon speak when, gosh, he might have been 12 or 13, and he really impressed me at the time, and he's continued to impress me. Um, he has a book called 10 Feet Tall, which I highly recommend, and I'm blessed to have a version that has a, a signed copy from him. And um, I really am excited about talking to Brandon because Brandon is a Gen Z activist. So Gen Z is a generation behind the millennials, and Boy, they're coming out with real power in these conversations, so it's very exciting. Um, so you mentioned I was diagnosed with dwarfism, um, and my life has definitely been one of uncertainty because my form of dwarfism is so rare that there are less than 100 cases reported in medical history. So that is a, a very crazy number when you think about uh, how few people that actually is. And what that translates into is doctors not having answers, not knowing the, the prognosis or the outlook of what my life is going to be like, how my mobility is going to be challenging me, things like that. But what I've learned now is everybody is full of uncertainty. You, you don't need to have a rare medical condition in order to get out of that, in order to realize that uncertainty is a constant in life and it doesn't have to hold us back. But I felt truly invisible for the first 15 years of my life. Um, I felt like I just had no purpose and no point of dealing with all of the pain and the challenges that came my way on a daily basis. But all of that changed for me when I was invited to give a TEDx talk. And that was literally the start of the rest of my life because it was in that moment that I discovered my purpose, which is to shift the lens through which people see the world and themselves. Taking your obstacles and your adversities and turning it into something great. I think Brand is a wonderful example of that. So I hope you'll join me in um, buying his book, reviewing his book, including him in conversations. Um, he's on my radar, and I'm going to keep bringing him into conversations and and he gives me a lot of hope so Brandon thank you so much for being on the thank program you, Deborah, today I appreciate and it I can't wait to see who you're going to be at 30 and 40 I might have to be looking you know from another place to see you on those things but um but I'm really really excited about your voice and so I appreciate what you've done and I can't wait to watch you do even more so thank you for being on the show today thank you so much it's been fun yes Bye, everyone.